Hey guys, it's Dara with your short and sweat workout. Today we're gonna be working our upper body. I have two sets of weights because we have a lot of variety of movements. I have a set of 10 pounders, a set of 15 pounders, all right? I'm gonna be moving and adjusting those weights as we go, and I want you to grab something around your house that would be uh, sufficient for you, okay? So maybe it's uh, some water bottles, maybe it's some milk jugs filled with water, sand to add a little bit more resistance, okay? Before we start our upper body workout, let's get our body warmed up, okay? I wanna just warm up our uh, shoulders and uh, hips and back here because we're gonna be moving up and off the floor. We're gonna do some walk out planks. So putting the, the whole hand down on the floor, walking all the way out and walking back. Okay, you can feel that strength through your shoulders. Feel them start to warm up. Okay, if you like, you can add in a push-up. Okay, we do have a finisher today, and we'll be doing a few push-ups, okay? Good. All right, now the second warm-up exercise we're gonna be doing is Superman. So you're gonna go down on your knees and your hands. You're gonna take that right arm forward, left leg back, okay? This is gonna engage that core because today, when we're doing that movement, it's good, we're alternating sides here. As we're doing these movements, we're gonna use the floor and uh, even though we're working that upper body, we wanna really make sure we engage our stomach muscles and our back muscles here, okay? And again, with these arms forward, try to really stretch, get that shoulder right by the, the ear here. Good, you can start to feel those w arms warming up. Good, let's get one more each side. Nice job. All right, so we're, re we're gonna be doing four different movements. We're gonna be working from top to bottom, so we'll be adjusting and moving through different movements. Follow along with me during the rest breaks. I'll give you a cue on, on the next movement. The first movement, I'm gonna grab my heavier set of dumbbells. We're gonna be working the chest muscles, okay? And I call these dumbbell floor presses. So we're gonna lay flat on the ground. Back, low back is engaged with the floor, pushing our low back down, and we're pressing the weight straight up to the ceiling. Notice how my arms stay perpendicular to the floor, okay? We're not pressing in front, and we definitely don't wanna be back here, okay? So we're going down and up. 40 seconds, get ready. Here we go, guys. Good, keep that core engaged. That low back is down to your mat or your floor. Good, we're working those chest muscles, a little bit of shoulders, and you can probably start to feel those triceps too. This is an exercise that can help you improve the strength for your push-ups, right? So push-ups are a great indicator of strength and adding in movements like this can help accelerate those improvements, okay? Good, now I'm gonna go ahead and set one weight down, take a little break here, watch me, okay? Still keeping that stomach engaged, low back flat on the uh, mat, but now we're gonna let that weight go all the way back behind your head and back up. All right, you can hold on to one weight or two, your choice, here we go. Now, as that weight gets further back behind your head, it gets harder for you to keep that low back down on the floor, okay? Really try to, to keep that back down by squeezing your buns, okay? And keeping those hips uh, nice and level to the floor, so we're really pressing that low back down, okay? We don't wanna raise up and tilt those hips, okay? So we wanna keep them nice and flat if you just saw that adjustment there for me, how I tried to show you a bad rep and a good rep, okay? Good, this is working your lats and your triceps. Good, and break, okay? We're hopping up off the floor. Well, I'm gonna grab my lighter set of dumbbells, so my five pounders, okay? The next movement is called a reverse fly. We're gonna work the back of those shoulders and your upper traps, okay? Hands are forward. We're gonna think about pulling those elbows back, okay? Think about um, hugging someone through the front 
and then driving those elbows back, okay? Here we go. This is one of my favorite exercises uh, to have clients do, mostly because a lot of people are sitting at desks and they seem to round their shoulders forward. So this is a movement that can help combat that forward movement to work more on your rear delts and your back. You can start to think about your shoulder blades really pinching back together here, okay? All right, we got 20 seconds of rest. Now, this next movement is called a upright row. So that means our body stays upright, just like so. Okay, so if you see me from the side, I'm right nice and upright. I'm gonna bring my weights up towards my chin and back down. Now I'm gonna show you from the front because see how my elbows go out, all right? Do it with me, here we go. Now, just like other workouts with short and sweat, even though you're only moving your arms, you can still be engaged through your whole body. You should be pressing firm through the ground. That means by being firm, you're squeezing your buns, squeezing your belly, squeezing your legs, okay? Whew, this is a tough one, right? Almost there, guys. We got our 20 seconds of break. We're gonna move back right into our floor press. Press, Good, take a break. Okay, now I'm using my heavier weights for my dumbbell floor press. Gra grab what you need, make the adjustments for yourself. Okay, but do make sure you're pushing yourself. Okay, let's get in that position. Get that core engaged. Here we go. If you're looking to add in a little bit more core development, or maybe you don't have heavier weights, a way to make this a little bit harder is go ahead and kick those legs straight up towards the ceiling, okay? Sometimes it doesn't always have to be heavier weight. You can always make exercise a little bit harder. Good, all right, take a break. Gonna drop one weight. Okay, we're gonna go back into that pullover. If you want, you can keep two weights. That's gonna make it a lot harder for you, okay? So we're going into that pullover, you can be here. I'm gonna adjust the position and hold my weight just like so. Um, and you're gonna notice there's, uh, I can get a little bit bigger range of motion. Here we go. Good, so now without the head of that dumbbell, now I can reach back just a little bit further, okay? Which makes it harder for me to keep my core engaged too. So now I'm really pressing my low back down. Really, I want you to focus. I don't wanna see the hips tilting this way, okay? We wanna close that gap, okay? Engage the core here. Good, take a break. Okay, popping up here. We're gonna go into that reverse fly. I'm grabbing my lighter dumbbells. Okay, I want you to really focus here as you tilt, as you tilt forward. I want you to think about keeping a nice straight and strong back. Okay, get ready. Here we go, guys. Breathing out as you pull those weights back because that's when we're working, right? Good, don't let that chest drop here with these last few reps. Okay, we're almost there. Try to keep that strong posture. Keep those shoulders back. Three, two, and break, good job. Okay, maybe roll out those shoulders a few times. Okay, we're gonna move back in to the second set of our upright row. Again, that's our, our palms are facing towards us. Okay, and we're pulling straight up. Get ready, get set. Here we go. Good. 
Now, as you're doing this one, I want you to think back through these four exercises, you know, which we have one more round. So this is your time to think, which one can I push myself a little harder on? And uh, maybe which one do I, I can tell it, this is really tough for me. How can I modify it or make note and come back and try this movement more often, right? Add it into your routine. Good, all right, 20 seconds. We're gonna switch back up to the floor, laying on our back. You know, sometimes you take for granted your health and just simply getting on and off the floor, right? So today we're doing a lot of that, right? We're moving around. It's good for you guys, okay? Get ready, get set. Here we go, floor presses. Remember, if you want, you can stick those legs straight up in the air and I'll show you one last um, way that you can accelerate the movement. Okay, you can drop one leg down and up. Okay, a little bit harder. If you want, try both legs. Good, but if that back pulls up, you put those feet back down on the ground, guys. Good, take a break. Okay, last set of pullovers, probably the toughest one. Now, you can also throw your legs up in the air for this one to add in some, some difficulty to the movement, all right? Sometimes it's just a little hard to keep your back down, and so I wanna make sure that your back stays flat, okay? Here we go. I don't think I've told you guys, but this is actually one of my favorite movements um, for myself, for my upper body. Um, it helps me really engage my lower lats all the way down here, right? It's easy sometimes to overuse our upper lats and engage our traps. Um, the lower lats are a little bit harder to target. Good, take a break. Okay, we're popping up. One more set of reverse flies. I'm grabbing my lighter weights. Okay, again, let's think really good posture, guys. Really good, you can do it, all right? Nice, straight and strong back. Hold in those, those abdominals and keep those shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. Here we go. Got this guys. Now we have our last set of upright rows after this and then we're gonna be moving in to our finisher. Now this finisher, it's gonna be kind of rough, but we're gonna have it, we're gonna have a good time doing it. Good, take a little break. Okay, we got our last set of upright rows. Okay, we'll take a quick drink before we start our three rounds of 40 seconds of push-ups, 20 seconds of rest, but we're gonna do these back to back. So it's gonna get tough, but I know you guys can do it. All right, get ready. Here we go, upright rows. You got it, 15 seconds, guys. Okay, we're gonna rest for about a full minute here before we go into our push-ups, because I know your shoulders are feeling it, okay? You got this, almost there. Three, two, and break, good job. Good. You can set those weights down, because, you know, for push-ups, we don't, we don't need any of these weights. That's what I like about them. So if you go back to the baseline testing for short and sweat, you'll see, you know, one of the challenges was push-ups. And so push-ups are a great way to look back and, and see improvement. 
So that's why I like to incorporate them, you know, every, every so often for you. All right, so the push-ups can be done on your toes, okay, like we did at the beginning. If that's, if that's what you wanna do, you can be here, all right? If you need to, I'm gonna do them on my knees so that I can get higher repetitions, okay, right here. Another thing that you can do, if you have a set of stairs at your house, you can be on your toes, and you can, um, the higher you go on your stairs, the easier it'll be for you, all right? Same thing about using like a kitchen counter, um, maybe even a really sturdy coffee table, or even your trusty couch, right, okay? So are you guys ready? We're gonna go 40 seconds. I want you to try to count your repetitions and try to repeat and get at least right into that close range, all right? Get ready, get set, here we go. It's nice to have a number that you're trying to reach. So I definitely wanna get at least 12, all right? Anywhere from 10 to 15 is a great uh, reps for 40 seconds. It should be pretty tough with all the upper body that we just did. Okay, Whew. barely got my 12. Okay, keep going if you're able. You guys are incredible. Good, and take a break. Okay, we got 20 seconds to recover. We're gonna move right back into another set, okay? I've set a goal for myself of hitting that 12 mark each round, okay? You can break once you get to that point because I would rather you guys do quality repetitions, especially after uh, doing a, you know, a 12 minute workout with all of our other movements today. Okay, get ready, get set, here we go. Keep going guys. Oh, it's getting tough, but we're gonna feel so good about ourselves when we're done. All right, three, two, and break. Took me a lot longer to get my 12 there, all right? So check in with yourself. Do you think you can hit that same number that you're getting, okay? I might have to adjust mine, we'll see here, all right? And doing exercise incorrectly is never worth it, all right? Just take a break if you need to, get ready. Last set, here we go. Keep going guys, you got eight seconds to get your goal here. You guys are doing awesome. Three, two, one, take a break, all right? Let's stretch out those arms. You gotta be feeling it all through those things, okay? So let's finish together with a tricep stretch. Let's take your right hand all the way up in the air and then go ahead and bring it back down. Give yourself three pats on the back. One, two, three, right? Feels good when someone cheers for you. Hopefully you have someone cheering for you at home, right? Take that left hand, put it on your elbow there, and try to drive that arm down and back so that now you can reach to the middle of your back, right? Good, you can feel your chest open. It's probably actually easier to breathe too because you got nice, tall back. Open up that those airways. Whew. Now this is a good stretch to do throughout the day, and it's something really easy you can do if you are sit at a desk, right? One more big inhale, and exhale. Good, take those arm out. I like to shake them around in the front. Okay, let the blood get back to the fingertips. Let's take that left hand up in the air, bring it down there on that back, give yourself three pats. One, two, three, get that right hand up there. Push that elbow back and down so that the hand reaches further onto your back. Good. 
Ooh, I, I think my left side's a little tighter than my right. Okay. That's perfectly normal if you if you become aware of how your body feels like that, you know? You guys are incredible for sticking with the entire workout. I love these workouts because, you know, it can be done so quickly throughout your day. It's just a small part of your day and it makes you feel so good. One more big breath in and out. Nice job, guys. Swing those arms around. Get that feeling all through there, okay? I challenge you, add in a few more stretches throughout your day today, and then make sure you come back here and work out with me again. See you next time.